Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. In today's lesson, we are looking at mystery word. So let's get started. Materials. The only thing you need for today's lesson is just your thinking cap. So let's get our brains ready. There are three learning targets for our lesson today. The first target says, I can identify the name and sound for the letters I and G. The second target says, I can search in a text or poem and find a word with two letters in it. And the last target says, I can use clues from the text or poem to identify a mystery word. Read aloud. Let's read our poem, The Grumpy Iguana. I spy an iguana grabbing insects on a gate. He acts a little grumpy cause he's itchy and it's late. A goose glides on over inspecting the scene. The iguana ignores her. That's really quite mean. The goose inches closer. She says, good evening to you. I'll give you some grapes. That's what I'll do. Oh, thank you, says Iguana. Now I don't feel so blue. Articulatory gestures. We have been working on the key words for the letters G and I. Watch what my mouth does when I say the key word for the letter G. Goose. Goose. You say it. What did you notice about my lips? Right. My lips were not closed. They were open. My lips were slightly closed and I can feel the vibration of the g sound coming from my throat. Goose. Mm -hmm. We've been working on the key word for the letter I. Iguana. Watch my mouth as I say it. Iguana. What do you notice about my mouth? Iguana. Right. My lips are closed just a little bit and I can feel the I sound coming from my chest. You say it, iguana. Nice work. Transition song. It's time to sing. Let's solve the mystery. Let's solve the mystery. Clue by clue. Clue by clue, the clues will tell you what to do to make the word become clearer to you. We'll know the word, we'll figure it out. Clue by clue, clue by clue. Word work. High frequency words are words that authors use a lot in their writing. And our poem, The Grumpy Iguana, has one of these mystery words, but we don't know what it is. It's a mystery. So we're going to listen to some clues to see if we can figure out what our mystery word is. Our mystery word has two letters in it. So follow along as I read through and let's see if we can figure it out. The Grumpy Iguana. I spy an iguana grabbing insects on a gate. He acts a little grumpy cause he's itchy and it's late. A goose glides on over inspecting the scene. The iguana ignores her. That's really quite mean. The goose inches closer. She says, good evening to you. I'll give you some grapes. That's what I'll do. Oh, thank you, 
says Iguana. No, I don't feel so blue. Did you notice any words in our poem that had two letters in it? I noticed them too. I noticed the words an and on. They have two letters in them. Do you see any words in this part of the poem that have two letters in them? I see the words to, do, oh, and so. They all have two letters. I wonder what our mystery word could be. I think we need a clue to help us figure it out. Get ready for my first clue. Here's my next clue. The mystery word has the letter O in it. In our poem, do you see any words that have two letters and the letter O? I see on, to, do, O, and so. They all have two letters and the letter O. I think we need another clue. Here's my last one. The mystery word has the n mm sound at the end. Do you know what it is? If you think the mystery word is on, you might be right. Let's check our clues. Does on have two letters? Does it have the letter O? Does it have the N sound at the end? Yes, it fits all of those clues. On must be our mystery word. It has two letters in it. It has an O in it, and it makes the N sound at the end. Yes, on is our mystery word. This is an important word that we'll have lots of practice with. Nice work. Closing reflection. When we see the word on, how can we remember what it says? How will that help us with reading and writing? Awesome job! Count how many times you see the word on today. Thank you for joining me today. We met all of our learning targets and we figured out the mystery word that had two letters in our poem. I hope you learned a lot and I will see you next time. Bye.